Hey everyone, it's Colonel Magnus. Uh, I'm at Fob Wright uh, here in Asadabad. And uh, you know, I want to interview a couple of guys here, but before I do, I want to talk to you about a quote uh, that really means a lot to me. And I think when you think about what it means, I think it'll resonate with those of you that are watching on TV. Theodore Roosevelt once said, it's not the critic who counts, nor the man who points out how the strong man stumbled or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes short again and again, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those who know neither victory nor defeat. It really is about the man in the arena. And when it comes to the Corps of Engineers, it's the people that are at the point of the spear who are out there every day, you know, with the population, trying to get things done. Those are the men in the arena. Those are the ones whose faces are sweaty and dirty and, and tired. And I've got two of those men here, and I want to introduce them to you because I think they uh, really do represent what's going on at the point of the spear. Army Corps of Engineers made a commitment to embed uh, with, with, uh, with the PRTs out in the field, at least one, sometimes two people, to help develop projects. And there is so much that can be done uh, with some uh, of these small projects, usually funded with SERP money, uh, to make a difference in the communities. And so Brandon Tolliver and Mike Osborne uh, are uh, both here. What, what is this uh, PRT that, uh, that is here on this FOB? Uh, this is a Kunar PRT. Kunar, and where are they? But where are they from? Um, the the group. The, yeah, the group. Mostly from Pennsylvania. It's a uh, it's a group from Pennsylvania. Uh, they're out every day trying to really win the people, yeah. and then using the Corps of Engineers' expertise to help build projects to win the people. Uh, tell me uh, some of the projects that you're working on right now, Brandon. Uh, we're working on several road projects. We're just about finished on a, a road that we call Route Beaverton. It's 38 kilometers of uh, asphalt. It's a pretty big, big deal. It's connecting the other side of the river to the bridge, Kaskunar Bridge that we just built. So now you can do a circle around yeah. the city pretty much. And we yeah. have a, four school bundles. Um, Mike, can you think of some other ones? I, I believe the schools are probably one of the most important things we're working on. Um, one of the few first site visits I was on, we had a headmaster tell us uh, he was excited to finally be teaching in a, in a real building. He went from teaching under a tree to a tent, yeah. and now he's got a building. And I think those uh, those kind of projects mean a lot to the folks here yeah. and uh, really can help win some people to our side, hopefully. They win people to our side. I mean, that's how we're going to win the war. I mean, ultimately, we got to win the people. Yeah. And if we can change lives because we're putting kids in schools or we're building roads so they're not bumping all over dusty trails and everything else, I mean, that really is how we're going to win. Let me tell you uh, uh, or find out a little bit about your story and how you came uh, to work for, uh, for us. Brandon, where did you come from uh, to join the Corps and, and join this mission? Uh, I came from Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. I was working uh, for a private firm doing a highway design and was looking for something different. Yeah. And, and you came, you came to us as a Schedule A employee, yes. and uh, it's our goal to keep you in the Army Corps of Engineers for the rest of your life. You up for that? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, Mike, what about you? Where did you come from? Uh, originally, I was down in uh, Texas working for a private industry. Um, last year, I spent some time in uh, Saudi Arabia yeah. uh, working over there for a university, and I uh, was looking for the next big challenge where I could help out, and this was it. And you found it, didn't you? I mean, you found a challenge. I mean, you are the men in the arena. I mean, when you really think about it, you're on these forward deployed fobs. You're out there with these PRTs going to try to figure out how you can make a difference in people's lives. And uh, I really am proud of both of you. You are the Army Corps of Engineers. Uh, you may have come to us as Schedule A or whatever it is, but this says you say civilian, and you're putting that brand on, on, on every project you do. I'm really proud of both of you. Uh, 
you know, I know that uh, Mike, you and I share something that uh, that uh, you know means a lot to me. We love the Texas Longhorns. Right. When's the first game? Uh, September fourth. Who, who's going to be the national champions this year? Texas Longhorns. Now, but for the fact that this guy has more hair than he should on his head. Uh, he's a great American, and in fact, both of these uh, represent the men in the arena. I'm proud of both of you. Thanks for what you do. Everyone that's watching on TV, feel proud about what this piece of the Army Corps is doing uh, in these PRTs and the kinds of projects that they're, uh, you know, making a difference in people's lives. This is how we're going to win the war. And thanks for what you all do.